Saggy, what's up? Thank you so much for stopping by. I've been waiting for you, of course. Grab a seat. Welcome to my channel. It's Mags White Buffalo Divine here. Uh, I am very excited to do this month's reading for you for a few different reasons. Uh, we are still technically in Scorpio season. However, we are moving into Sagittarius season at the end of the month. So happy birthday to my Sagittarius that have November birthdays. I myself am one of them. Um, and I'll tell you, we're doing a little bit different uh, type of reading today and moving forward. I want to switch things up. So for those of you who really enjoyed my past readings, this is going to be completely different mainly because I'm using a, a totally different new deck. Uh, I am still getting used to this deck. It is uh, interesting to me. I've done a very heavy pre-shuffle prior to this and I've already laid the cards out. Um, I've meditated heavily and prayed over this energy. And just so you guys know, I am using Kim Krantz's uh, The Wild Unknown Archetypes cards uh, today, which are extremely... Uh, eccentric, eclectic, artsy. Um, the cards themselves have very somewhat similar meanings to the, the Rider Waite deck uh, to a degree, but mainly the purpose of these cards is to talk about foundations, go much deeper into your psyche and consciousness with regards to uh, whatever we're asking. And so today we're doing three different groups, past, present, and future with regards to yourself, and your love life. And so again, I've already pre-shuffled. I've got six cards laid out. It was very clear uh, across the board for Sagittarius in the month of November that you have gone through a lot in the last month or in the upcoming months. So um, also I've got my green calcite here uh, with us today. This is very much a um, stone that promotes um, learning, uh, excuse me, crystal that promotes learning, thinking, higher power, intelligence, uh, someone who's able to really use their gifts and, and teach and inspire. And so I've got that here today. Um, I'm not sure what all is going to transpire from this. We are going to get clarification on the six cards that I have here. Uh, but for past energy with regards to yourself in the past Sagittarius, we have got the queen card coming out loud and proud for past energy. Uh, I do want to say uh, this could obviously be more towards the feminine side of your energy. If you're a male, this does not mean this is not resonating for you. We are talking about balancing out of masculine and feminine energies. Feminine energy has really dominated something in the past, uh, obviously with regards to maybe how you've been handling yourself, certain situations, uh, this card in particular, there's a lot of different meanings. This could be taken as a red eye with a yellow pupil in the middle. However, the pupil could be also the moon. We do have a ruby up top. Also the hand with the snake and then the lotus flower. The queen is very much about someone who is, if we're looking at a royalty aspect, someone who knows who they are, is very eloquent with the way they speak about themselves and others, someone who is really standing in their power and sure of who they are in the direction that they're going. Um, the queen is very much a just person, someone who uh, can be a little dramatic at times, but also is someone that can be very trusted. Uh, and so when we're we're talking about yourself, obviously, Sagi, you've been on your game in some capacity because you've really been connecting with your feminine energy here. Uh, kudos to you. That's fantastic. Um, and I really think that uh, there's something here about uh, almost like a DNA upgrade uh, that I really was getting from this card. Um, Partially because we've got uh, the Lotus Bloom and a Lotus Bloom, for those of you, um, it's a very, the roots of a lotus grow very deep underwater. Uh, there is a lot of sunlight needed to get the plant itself to go to the surface of the water and bloom. The fact that the middle of this bloom has what looks like a gold pearl of some type in the middle of that, backlighted by the moon, really talks to me about someone who has uh, possibly even upped their financial gain. Uh, maybe finances have increased a little bit for you uh, in this last month. You've gotten a little bit more stable with regards to paying bills. Uh, maybe you've gotten a certain uh, increased promotion, something to that magnitude. I'm really connecting with that heavily. 
Um, and more importantly, it's, it's very much an abundance feeling. I feel like this is going to be an ongoing thing moving forward for you. So um, when we talk about present self, uh, the mask is the next card that came out. Now, first initial thoughts whenever you see the mask card uh, is to think about the negative connotations that come along with that. Um, whenever I see the mask card, I think a lot of times there's been some type of, uh, maybe you have felt like people were trying to throw you off, were deceiving you in some aspect in the past. Um, you yourself, I feel, have finally started to feel comfortable unmasking who you really are as a person over this last uh, year. I feel like, Sagittarius, you have very much come into your own. And for a long time, I want to say that the, the energy that I'm connecting with, you have really been in this dark space. This this very white and black type of energy. What has happened recently or in the in the current present, you are very much, and I just heard the term um, technicolor, technicolor dream coat. Um, this is very much a theatrical card. This is someone who, uh, very David Bowie-esque, someone who is very much an artist, creative thinker, someone who brings very fresh and unique ideas to the forefront. Sagittarius, I feel like you're coming into this we are also in Scorpio season, which is very much a transformational season. So I feel like you're really having fun, um, finally kind of unleashing who you really are in the present moment. And I think that that is such a beautiful process and it's taken a very long time for you to get there, Sagittarius. So whoever I'm connecting with, that's the current energy I'm feeling right now. Uh, possibly figuring out ways to reinvent yourself, reinvent um, maybe just your style, your look, your career, the way you decorate your house. Uh, any little thing that you have felt very um, boxed or closed off in, I feel like you've been doing some heavy transformations in your life. When we look towards the future, the judge, which is the, the uh, similar card to the judgment card in the deck comes out. Now, when we talk future energy for the judge coming out, Sag, a um, couple of things come to immediate mind. One is... You are judging someone and it's yourself or others have been judging you. Uh, what is interesting about this card is I actually dressed up as judgment for Halloween. Um, I dressed kind of as a judgment card, but there were a lot of different meanings on that. And the fact that the judge came out in future uh, mode, I really want you to talk or think about what ways have you judged others that you can heal, be better in that aspect on. Um, first and foremost, yourself. How have you judged yourself against others? How have you judged yourself um, against what your previous standards may have been, where you feel you should be in your life, where maybe you are not in your life? Um, those types of things are really coming up right now. I think the judgment card also speaks of society, how, how you've been judged against society, um, your family, how they've judged you over the last few years and how you want to be judged moving forward. I'm very much getting this feeling of you don't care anymore. The energy that I'm connecting with, you do not care about judgments whatsoever anymore because this is your life. So when we're talking about future energy, I am feeling that heavily and I'm feeling it in a very positive light. The biggest thing that I'm drawn to, if you notice here on this judgment card, we've got a skull here representing death. We've got a hand reaching out for help. Uh, we've also got prayer. And then if you can see that, the light, almost like a tunnel of some sort. Um, that is definitely a eye of some sort. Um, I'm connecting with someone who could even be going through a legal case and, and quite literally being judged uh, as well. So that's future energy. Now let's move into your love life, Sag. Here's, here's the really um, beautiful thing. And when I first mentioned this, I, I, I'm sure that there's going to be a suppression of energy, but uh, we got the, the Thanatos card. Um, this card in particular is the same as the death card in the wider weight deck. Um, it's very tempting to oversimplify death and sum it up as transformation sometimes. Um, quite frankly, I think that uh, death can be very ongoing. It, be, it can be omnipresent. It's very much an internal response to the gift of birth. So whether you are witnessing the ending of another being, a creature, a phase in your life, there's something about uh, your love life, you have quite literally gone through a death process with your love life. You have literally laid your past loves to rest. 
done, finito, completely over, over and done with. You want nothing more to do with the past. And it's very present here in this reading, um, Sag. So whether that is you have been watching someone else um, go through a death process, you've lost a loved one, you've maybe lost your spouse or the love of your life, something to that magnitude, or you yourself have literally gone through such a heavy transformation, 10, 10 on the clock, uh, cycle completion as I say that. There's something here about you have quite literally been grieving and mourning past loved ones that you gave your heart to, that you were in a committed relationship with, ship with to some degree. Even if you're in a current relationship right now, you have laid to rest the past of what has happened with your relationship. And there's something about wanting to start a new cycle. Now, the interesting thing about the present energy with regards to your love life that came out is we got the one card. This card very much speaks of union. This card represents... Um, Becoming one not only with yourself, but more importantly with another. Um, when we talk about the one, we talk about unity. We talk about um, no divide of any type. Someone who truly has um, gone through enlightenment, um, whether this is you or the person that is coming to mind right now, I feel both of you have gone through a very enlightenment period. If you notice... We've got three X's on the top representing 30. The person I could be connecting with could be 30 years old. The person you are in love with could be 30 years old. Uh, 30th of November could have some type of relevance to you. Something about the number 30. Pay attention to synchronicities with the number 30. Um, more importantly, this is one of the things that I love about these cards is if we turn them, it almost looks like a tunnel with a light at the end of it. Does it not? And maybe that's kind of what this has felt like, an out-of-body experience falling in love with the person that's coming to mind, whether that's falling in love with yourself, falling in love with somebody else. There is massive unity coming in with whoever is coming to mind right now. And again, if you're single and you're not dating anyone, this could be completely talking about you and your own journey. If you are in love with somebody else, you are not together yet, maybe in separation, it's coming in. And that is present energy. This energy of you have already closed out a cycle has now finished. We are no longer in October. So 10 is done. Bam, done. We are in the month of 11. Okay, uh, one and one is two, talking about two people coming together. So there is going to be some type of unity coming into your life, Sagittarius. You should be very excited. More importantly, because as you know, we started the reading with the queen. Future energy in your love life, we have the king. Okay, um, I heavily shuffled this deck. So for these two to come out in your spread, Sagittarius, Okay, so, um, and we are going to get clarification on these cards here, but let's talk about this. This is bright sunshine ruler all day, okay? Uh, very much a ruler of the kingdom, someone who has gone through massive transformations, but knows who they are because they rule their life. They're in charge of their decisions. They are sound in their decision making. They are clear with their communication. This is someone who knows what they want, goes after it and conquers. Um, the fact that this card also, I just want to point this out. Do you remember what I said about the gold pearl and the lotus on the queen card? Look at the gold pearl up on the hand in this card. Also, um, and I can't think of the name of it, uh, but um, I keep getting the feeling that there's going to be some type of communication revolving around a letter or an email, almost a handwritten letter, if you will. Um, and I, I want to say that there, um, it's, I keep getting a signed, sealed, delivered. I actually just heard the song by Stevie, Stevie Wonder, signed, sealed, delivered, I'm yours. Uh, there's something coming in here, and I feel that this is huge. This is a union that has been taking place. If you have not been in communication, this has been going on for quite some time. This is a sacred union coming in. And again, I'm going to get clarification on the king, um, but look at this. This is, this is, we're talking two becoming one. Okay, uh, and it's because, again, you have closed out the cycle in your love life, Sagittarius, and because you closed out a cycle, another one can begin. So um, let's get a little bit of clarification. I'm doing the bottom spread only. We're going to do this uh, death card, basically the one and the king. Clarification for Sagittarius, love, November 2019, please. Clarify the, uh, the Thanatos, I keep saying that wrong, Thanatos card, please. Sagittarius November. 
Yep. <laughs> Stop. Stop it. Sag. Death to the games, yo. You, oh, you played your cards. Someone played their cards on you. You called it. You saw it. You cut that communication off real quick. We've got the child card coming in as well. Speaking of birth, rebirth, death and rebirth, okay? We cannot get any more clear than that. Death, birth, okay? Whether this is an idea, whether this is you actually have children with this person, I'm not feeling that at all. I am not getting any type of like actual children. I am talking rebirth with this card. Um, and that only goes to clarify this there. You went through a rebirth because you cut the games off. You have been very, very strategic in your communication, Sag. It's paying off. And that's how you were able to close this cycle out. So let's get a little bit of um, clarification on this union. Who's the union coming in for Sagittarius November 2019, please? Sagittarius. Sagittarius. I cannot even with y'all. I cannot make this stuff up. Okay. And let's talk. What I tell you about the one and union coming in. Boom. Abundance. I've also got my pink candle lit for love, Sag. All right. You have manifested this so seamlessly and you should be very, very proud of yourself. If you are currently in a relationship, you are manifesting a reboot in your relationship. There is something going on about massive abundance coming in. And this is long-term commitment. This is a type of commitment that lasts uh, through many, many cycles, many years. Um, very much a stable year in 2020 coming in. Um, and, and I feel the person who you are thinking of feels this way about you. When they think about their life with you, this is what they feel. This is what they see. This is what they know to their core. Okay. Now I'm going to go a step further here. I want you to look at the rainbows here. And remember what I said about the Technicolor dream coat with the mask card. Look at the rainbow. Okay. Um, Yeah, this is, uh, hold on, I want to get one more, birds and birds of a feather, something about birds, okay, yeah, um, So, I'm sorry, Sag. I, I'm getting like, this is a, this is a very past life. The love I'm connecting with here, the person that's, that you're thinking about right now, Sag, you've shared other lifetimes with. There's something here about other lifetimes, um, a lot of abundance was involved. Look at the, okay, look at the card that come up. What I tell you about the rainbow colors, okay, I can't make this up. There's something here about um, heavy, a colorful, fulfilling, rich life and not necessarily materialistic that's coming in and that you previously had with this person. All right, I'm going to shuffle and clear this one more time. Before we get clarification on the King card, Sag, <laughs> Judgment Day is here. You're getting what you deserve, Sag. No doubt about it. No doubt about it here. Cut the deck. Here we go. Clarify the King for Sagittarius, please. November 2019. What is this King card here? Clarify the King, please, for Sagittarius. One more, please. Clarify the king, please, for Sagittarius. Yeah, this this person, I've got scarf issues going on. Uh, this person, Sag, uh, has been crying about what they're going to say to you. They have literally been crying about what they're going to say to you because they think you're the most beautiful thing they've ever seen. 
from not just a physical aspect from a yeah from a spiritual this is this is a divine connection coming in the universe is speaking the the divinity involved in this relationship it is such a high royalty high visibility type of relationship this is a relationship that other people look to for inspiration for clarification for some type of guidance in their own love lives there's something here about a very divine royal um true love very true love coming in and it's a higher force involved look at the emotions coming in possible gift and offer as well okay sag so um wow Three, three, we got threes again. Um, seven, two sevens. Hold on. Two sevens, two sixes, three sixes. Three sixes, two sevens, and threes. I don't know. Um, what does a Sagittarius see coming for November in love? What does a Sagittarius see coming? Sagittarius see coming in love. I'm not taking those. Those still out. There we go. Sag, the person that you have in mind either had to end something with someone else or you do or did for this to happen. Someone's going through massive heartbreak to come towards you. Um, and there is no new beginning with this person and someone else. There's something about a beginning did not happen. Heavy heartbreak, heavy, heavy heartbreak has been involved to make this relationship happen or this person coming towards you. There's something about heavy heartbreak being involved and a beginning did not happen with someone else. So, um, Maybe that's what you don't see coming and you don't know details on that yet. Um, I'm not feeling this is your energy, Sag. So take that as it resonates. My readings are general. It may not have resonated with you. I hope that some of you enjoyed this a little bit differently. Again, I want you thinking different. I want to get things um, moving a little bit more with different cards and whatnot. So um, thank you so much for stopping by, Sagittarius. This is a phenomenal reading. 22-22 on the clock right as I say that. Congratulations. You have got someone extremely rare coming your way and uh i feel very giddy energy as i'm i'm looking at these cards sag so you have manifested this in some capacity sounds like someone else has manifested it as well they're done with whatever they had previously and they're coming towards you with a massive offer of love of unity of abundance uh feel good about yourself get hype sag it's coming so all my love thank you so much don't forget to like share subscribe i will see y'all later Mwah. bye